super dangerous security hole has been found that lets bad hackers take full control of websites and servers running PHP. This nasty vulnerability impacts almost every PHP website on the internet. Don't let your site get hacked and taken over. Keep watching to learn how to stay safe. A critical new vulnerability, CVE 2024-4577, has put the entire PHP community on high alert. In this video, we'll go behind the scenes to understand why this flaw is so scary and how to protect your PHP sites from criminal hackers looking to exploit it. Before we start, smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss a second of the latest cybersecurity news. Researchers have just publicly disclosed a critical new vulnerability in PHP, one of the most widely used web programming languages, powering over 75% of websites online. This flaw, tracked as CVE 2024-4577, allows any unauthenticated attacker to inject malicious code into PHP websites and gain complete control. It works by revealing a small coding mistake in how PHP processes certain character codes from users on Windows computers. When people type things into a website, those text inputs contain hidden codes representing each letter and symbol. PHP is supposed to properly sanitize and clean those codes to prevent hackers from smuggling in malicious ones. But CVE 2024-4577 lets attackers slip through a sneaky code that basically tells the vulnerable PHP program, hey, also run this extra command for me. And because of the flaw, PHP blindly follows that instruction without realizing it came from an untrusted source. A hacker finds a vulnerable PHP website or web app that has a search box or comment form where you can type and submit text. They craftily insert their attack code payload into that input disguised as regular text. When PHP processes that input, the harmful code gets executed behind the scenes, instantly giving that bad actor full remote control over the hacked server. From there, they can steal any passwords, personal data, or secrets stored on the system. They could also implant backdoors to ensure persistent access even after the vulnerability is patched. Or they could just completely wipe the server's contents as an act of cyber vandalism. This flaw is so simple to exploit that within 24 hours of it being revealed publicly, security groups had already detected active scanning by hackers hunting for vulnerable PHP servers to attack. Shockingly, the initial scan detected over 2 million potential targets exposed on the open internet. Among the biggest targets are websites and servers, using the extremely popular exam development environment for Windows. Because of how exam is configured by default, it is automatically vulnerable to CVE 2024-4577 exploits right out of the box. Any exam site that accepts user text input like comments, search queries, or form data could be instantly hacked. So, who discovered this code vulnerability? A security researcher named Orange Sai first noticed the risk when examining how PHP handles certain character translations in Windows. Back in 2012, there was a previous major flaw in PHP called CVE 2012-1823, which allowed similar remote code execution attacks. The PHP developers thought they had properly patched and secured that all vulnerability, but in a brutal blind spot, they missed how Windows encodes certain characters that could be abused to bypass their secure coding protections from 2012. Sign realized that encoded characters like the soft hyphen left could be injected as part of user input, tricking vulnerable PHP code into running any command that character represented on the server. An oversight with apocalyptic consequences given how widely PHP is used to run websites. Sai said, while implementing PHP, the team did not notice the best fit feature of encoding conversion within the Windows operating system. This oversight allows unauthenticated attackers to bypass the previous protection of CVE 2012-1823 by specific character sequences. Arbitrary code can be executed on remote PHP servers through the argument injection attack. After being responsibly notified about the issue in May 2024, the PHP security team raced to release patch software versions that finally fixed this mistake for good. All website operators and server administrators must immediately install PHP 8.3.8, 8.2.20, or 8.1.29 to protect against CVE 2024-4577 attacks. 
Security experts are strongly advising system administrators to abandon the outdated PHP CGI architecture and migrate to more robust alternatives like Mod PHP, Fast CGI, or PHP FBM. This recommendation comes after the critical CVE 2024-4577 vulnerability affecting all PHP versions on Windows systems. According to Orange Tai, the principal security researcher at DEF Corps who discovered the flaw, this vulnerability is remarkably straightforward. Yet, that simplicity is precisely what makes it so intriguing. Who could have anticipated that a patch that had been thoroughly reviewed and deemed secure for over a decade could be circumvented due to a minor Windows feature? The severity of the situation is further highlighted by the Shadow Server Foundation's recent disclosure on X, revealing that their Honeyspot servers have already detected exploitation attempts leveraging this vulnerability within 24 hours of its public disclosure. Security firm Watchtower Labs has successfully devised an exploit for CVE 2024-4577, achieving remote code execution, which underscores the urgency for users to probably apply the latest patches released by the PHP team. Alice Hammond, a security researcher at Watchtower, emphasized the gravity of the situation, stating, This is a nasty bug with a deceptively simple exploit. Those running PHP is an effective configuration, particularly under the vulnerable locales of Chinese, simplified or traditional, or Japanese, must act swiftly, as the low exploit complexity poses a high risk of widespread exploitation. But what if you can't update right away? Maybe you're using an older version of PHP that can't be upgraded immediately. In that case, there are temporary measures you can take to protect your server. One way is to use something called a mod underscore rewrite rule, this is a special set of instructions that tell your server to block suspicious requests that could exploit the vulnerability. Here's what you need to add to your server configuration. The mod underscore rewrite rule filters and blocks certain requests from reaching your PHP server. It acts as a gatekeeper, inspecting each incoming request and deciding whether to allow it. The first line, rewrite engine on, simply turns on the mod underscore rewrite functionality, which is a feature of the Apache web server. The second line checks if the request contains a specific character sequence that could potentially exploit the vulnerability. In this case, it's looking for the character percentage %AD at the beginning of the query string, the part of the URL after the question mark. If the condition in the second line is met, meaning the request contains the problematic character sequence, the third line kicks in. This line essentially blocks the request from being processed further and returns an error or a blank page to the user. So, in simple terms, this mod underscore rewrite rule acts like a security guard at the entrance of your PHP server. It checks each incoming request for any signs of the vulnerability being exploited, which is the percentage %AD character sequence. If it detects a suspicious request, it simply turns it away and doesn't let it through to your PHP server. For those of you using the popular exam development environment on Windows, the situation is a bit trickier. At the time of writing this script, Exam has not yet released any update files to address the CVE 2024-4577 vulnerability. However, there is a temporary workaround you can implement to protect your server. If you confirm that you don't need the PHP CGI feature, which is a way for the web server to interact with PHP scripts, you can avoid exposure to the vulnerability by modifying the Apache HTTP server configuration file. This file is typically located at C, Exam, Apache, Conf, extra, httpd-exam.conf. Within this configuration file, you need to locate the following line. This line essentially tells the Apache web server to treat the PHP directory as a script directory, allowing it to execute PHP scripts directly. However, this configuration also exposes a potential attack vector that could be exploited by the CVE 2024-4577 vulnerability. To mitigate the risk, you can simply comment out or disable this line by adding a hash symbol at the beginning of the line. The commented out line would look like this. By adding the hash symbol, you're essentially telling the Apache web server to ignore this line and not treat the PHP directory as a script directory anymore. This simple change can help protect your exact installation for potential exploitation of the CVE 2024-4577 vulnerability at least until an official update is released by the exam team.
If for some reason you can't update PHP right away, you can try blocking the vulnerability by adding special filtering rules that strip out the malicious character codes before PHP processes them. Of course, this is only a temporary band-aid solution. The best mitigation is to update the patched PHP releases as soon as absolutely possible. The PHP team is also strongly advising all users to move away from the outdated and insecure CGI setup used by default in exam deployments in Windows. Instead, they recommend transitioning to more secure architectures like FastCGI, PHP FBM, or Apache's mod underscore PHP for serving PHP websites. What do you think about this crazy vulnerability hitting PHP after all these years? Have you ever had a website compromised by hackers exploiting a vulnerability like this? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Before you leave, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.